This is Banjo, and today I'm going over how to add radio items to the communications menu in DCS World. We can see at Kutaisi we have a Blue 4 aircraft, and just off to the northwest we have several ground units, all set up on late activation, given specific names which will be referenced later in triggers. We can see the same has been done with two aircraft. I'll be activating these units mid-game through the use of two radio commands, so we'll take a look at triggers to set those up. We'll see two triggers set up on mission start. These triggers have no condition and only an action. The action is to add a radio item for the coalition, which in this case is going to be the Blue 4 Coalition. The text for the command that will appear in game in the communications menu is handled by the name value, which in this example is spawn up for fighters. The flag value will be the flag that will be set to the value indicated in value. So in this case, flag 1 will be set to value 1. Next, taking a look at the second trigger that we're using to set up a radio command, we can see that this is the trigger that we're using to set up the ground forces. So the only difference here is going to be the name value, the flag value, and the value, which in this trigger is flag 2 under value 1. Now that both triggers have been set up to add both of the radio commands that we're using in this example, we'll take a look at the triggers that we're using to set up the in-game activation of these units. We can see we're using an activation of once with a flag equals condition. Since the radio commands set off a flag to a value, we'll pretty much always use flag equals as the condition to set up the action that determines what radio commands do, which in this case is simply activating groups, followed by removing the radio command. In game we're able to see by looking at the map that there's no other units placed in game other than my own currently. And by entering the communications menu we can see we have under F10 other and included in other is all of our radio commands that we added through the use of our triggers. And now as we enter the map we're able to see that all of the ground forces that I had placed on late activation that were set up to be called through the trigger have been activated since I've called the first radio command trigger. Calling in the second radio trigger we're able to see the OP4 fighter spawn. Finally as we take a look at the communications menu we can see how the old entries have been removed.